welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel, and today I've got a Disney DIY video for you. I am in our family room, which we have decorated Disney theme. This is the room that we hang out in and watch Disney and, and just hang out as a family sometimes, so we wanted to make it fun. So I'm gonna give you a quick little tour and then I'll show you what uh, my DIY project is. So here is my Indiana Jones you know, picture with an adventure land throw and this cool gun lamp which uh, my husband got as a gift and we just really like it. It reminds us of Indiana Jones and my husband loves Indiana Jones. So then just got some Disney attraction posters, pictures of family, and various things up on a shelf. My daughter got me this really cool lamp. She actually got it at Costco, and it, it just reminds me of the Tower of Terror. It's kind of an industrial looking, um, and I really like it. And then I've got some pictures that were actually out of a Disney calendar some of our art of animation drawings that I printed off as pictures and made an art piece. Sorry for the glare in the glass on things. And then this is one of my favorite things. This is a lampshade made out of actual Disney film strips. Let me turn it on and see if you can see how cool this looks. Isn't that just amazing? This is Little Mermaid, and I'm gonna zoom in and see if it'll focus, if you can see some of the film strips, the pictures. The light might make it kind of hard, but isn't that cool? I love how it reflects on the wall. And then it's sitting on one of my favorite puzzles. It is a stained glass. Disney puzzle and it's made out of plastic but when you put it together you could even hang it in a window and um, and the light will shine through it it's super cool and we have put it together but I have not displayed it yet so um, that's just really cool and I will put the links um, to these items that you can still get um, in the description box below in case you're interested uh, my last trip, actually our first trip to Disney World, we got this um, clue game, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, because we love Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. We were kind of sad when it went, got changed in Disneyland, but um, we haven't experienced the Guardians of the Galaxy yet, so maybe that's just totally cool as well. But I got that uh, clue game, which we play, and then... This is one of my favorite things. This is a mosaic that is made uh, out of pictures from our Disneyland trips. So that big picture of the Mickey's Fun Wheel is a picture that I actually took in California Adventure. And then it is made up of hundreds, maybe more, of tiny little pictures from our vacation. And I will put the website uh, link that in the description box below as well. You can uh, make your own and they'll uh, You just get a download of the file and then I just had mine printed at Costco and had it framed so uh, I just love that and Of course this little book little man of Disneyland um, If you don't know the story about that um, You'll have to look that up. I'll put the link to that below as well some of our autograph books and this is an art piece that my daughter made with melted crayons and so uh, some of our favorites and then also if you haven't seen my video tutorial on how to make these Disney pin displays um, check that out I will link that on the video as well 
and in, put the link in the description box below. You can check that out. And then I put this scene. I thought it was perfect for the family room where we hang out and it's just all about our family and um, friends who come over. So uh, love that. And then of course I have Mickey, my Mickey pin display on the other side. So that's basically um, the Disney decor that I have. My problem is, as you can see, down here, there's this, and that's not very attractive. And while the blankets are supposed to be folded up neatly, this is usually what they look like. So I wanted to do something about that, but I wanted it to be Disney theme and go in our room. So um, what I came up with is this. I found this crate at a thrift store and I decided to turn it into a blanket storage trunk. So the first step was to pound in all of the nails and staples that were sticking up. There was a place that needed some glue and I clamped it and while it was drying I used a screw gun and I tightened up all the screws. Then I removed the hardware, the handles that were on the trunk and then I used an electric sander and I sanded down the whole trunk getting it nice and smooth and I taped the hinges with some blue painters tape to uh, protect them for spray painting. Then I just added a couple coats of this Krylon matte finish spray paint that I had some on hand, but I knew it wouldn't be enough, so I did pick up one more uh, spray can of that for like $3.96 from Walmart. Once I had the trunk painted both inside and out and it was thoroughly dry, then it was time to decorate it. My family loves the Art of Animation Academy and we have over 42 drawings that we have brought home from our trips. So I took those drawings and I copied them on my printer and I just started tearing around the pictures because I didn't want just straight edges. I wanted it to look a little more artistic. So I just uh, started tearing carefully around all each of the drawings. Once I got my pictures torn out and arranged on the side of the trunk the way I wanted them, then I just took some Mod Podge. I'm just gonna take that and with a paintbrush, I'm just going to uh, put the Mod Podge on underneath the pictures and then I'll put it on uh, over the top of the pictures and just make sure they're all glued down really well and um, that I cover them on the top really well also. In fact, I ended up doing two coats just to make sure all those torn edges were stuck down. So we went from this lovely box to this really cool functional blanket storage chest and it's not only functional but it is a lot of good memories from our family trips to Disneyland and the times that we spent in the Animation Academy doing these drawings. So what do you guys think? I love it. I'm so happy with how it turned out and really I spent like $15 um, on this whole project. Uh, maybe a little bit more if uh, I didn't have a few of the things on hand already, but a really great project and it really wasn't that hard. So, you know, just take it step by step. If you need a storage solution, don't be afraid to find something at a thrift store and repurpose it and give it new life because Honestly, this was really ugly when I started out and you know, not that great of quality of wood or anything, but now I really love it. And you could totally uh, decorate it any way that you want to, personalize it. Um, some other ideas I had was to do maybe like Disneyland maps on it or even add some uh, fast pass stubs or tickets uh, when we had the, just the paper card tickets on there so different things like that you could do um, or even just family photos you could decoupage on it but so many things to do and um, and if you uh, do a DIY project I would love to see it so 
uh, please share with me on my Facebook page or uh, Instagram. Do hashtag Love and Life's Journey, and um, and I'd love to see your projects. And if you are not a subscriber, I would love to have you uh, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell when it appears so that YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. Um, be sure to check out all of the links in the description box below for all of those great uh, decor items that I showed you at the beginning of the video. I'll put those links below so you can find those. Some of them I don't know if they're available or not, but if they are, I will put those links so that you can check those out. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, drop me a line in the comments. And uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you again next time.